Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'm going to show you how to ferment nuts and then how to make homemade nut butter. So nuts are seeds and seeds don't really want to be eaten or digested. So they have a lot of anti-nutrients that helps them be very difficult to digest. So having these anti-nutrients gives them a lot better chance at surviving and growing into a plant, but it makes it very hard for our bodies to break them down and digest them. So there's some very important processes and steps that you can do at home to make your nuts much easier to eat. So that goes for just having nuts for snacks, for making nut flours, and then making nut butters too. When you ferment them, then you get a much easier to digest product and then the nutrients are more available for your body. So first of all, we're going to just ferment some whole almonds. When you are preparing whole nuts like this, you have a few different choices for preparing them. You can soak them in like a salt water solution. You can ferment them like I'm gonna show you or you can sprout them. My favorite method by far is fermenting them because you get the greatest benefits for getting them the easiest to digest without all of the work that like sprouting entails. So all you're gonna do is put your nuts into a bowl. If you can find raw ones, that's ideal. And then I'm going to add some whey. The amount can vary, it's not exact science. I have probably three tablespoons here of whey for this container of like nine and a half ounces of raw almonds. And then I'm going to add enough filtered water so that they are fully submerged. Now, a lot of nuts will take on water and expand while they're soaking or fermenting. And so you might have to come back and add a little bit water a little bit more water later on, but something like this is really good to start with. And you're just going to put a towel over the top and then let them sit, preferably in a gently warm place if you have one, or just on your countertop at room temperature is great. And then you're gonna let them sit for at least overnight, 24 hours or even 48 is even better. Then when their fermenting time is done, it's time to strain them and then dry them. So you can use a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, or I have these um, like sill pat sheets that I sometimes use and that will work fine too. And then you're just gonna spread them out in a thin, even layer. You can do this also in a food dehydrator as well if you have one but if you don't then you can just do it this way on a pan lined with something and then put them into the oven on the lowest temperature that your oven will go the lowest mine will go is 170 degrees fahrenheit so i just do that and then sprinkle some salt on them before they go in i have my favorite baja gold sea salt Sprinkle some salt. And then put those into the low temperature oven. And it'll usually take a good 12 hours or so to dehydrate. They'll feel completely dry to the touch when they're done. You can go throughout the drying time and check on them every now and then and kind of move them around so they can get dried evenly. And then after that, they're ready to go. You can um, store them in the freezer is the best place once they're dried out so that they last the longest and retain their nutrients. So I'm gonna go put these into the oven. Next, I'm going to show you how to use some dried and previously fermented almonds or nuts like that to make some nut butter. So I have some here that I made ahead of time and they're already nice and dry. So I'm going to add two cups of these to my food processor. Mm. 
making almond butter. Oh. And then I'm just gonna start processing and watch for it to start to look like a butter, nut butter consistency. All right, we're gonna turn it off and check on it. It still has a little ways to go. It looks like sand. Yeah, it does kind of, but it's starting to stick together a little bit. And at this point, I'm going to add a few spoonfuls of coconut oil just to kind of help give it a smooth consistency. And then we're just going to let that process. Another thing you can do at this point is taste a little bit of it and see if you'd like to add more salt or not. I added salt when I dehydrated or dried these nuts. So I'm thinking it's good the way it is, but now's a good time to check for that as well. And then at least once during the process when it's getting smoother like this, you'll want to stop and scrape down the sides. I'm not that. Looks good, huh? Just to make sure it's getting evenly ground. And then let it go to finish up. Okay, I think that looks really good. You can also let it go according to your preference too. If you like it a little more on the chunky side, you can stop sooner. And then if you like it smoother, you can let it go longer. But I think this looks really, really good. So now all you have to do is take it out and store it in a jar or another glass container you wanna store it in the refrigerator and then it's ready to use. So of course you can buy store-bought nut butters but by having this fermented, when you fermented the whole nuts ahead of time, you're gonna get a much higher quality product, easier to digest and nutrients unlocked and more available for your body. So it's definitely worth just doing a couple extra steps and making your own at home. Be sure and check out that description box for where I like to buy truly raw almonds and other nuts, as well as some free eBooks and other goodies I have a Gaps Diet Getting Started guide that's completely free, so check out that description box. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think would find it helpful, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.